Hi honeys, it's Michelle. In this video, I'm going to be making dinner with you. So welcome to my kitchen. Tonight, I am making veggie skillet lasagna, and it's from this cookbook. And I will go ahead and take a picture of this recipe and put it up on my Facebook page if you are interested in making it. This recipe calls for a red bell pepper, an onion, and a zucchini, all finely chopped. But when I went to the grocery store, they didn't have zucchini. They said they hadn't had a vegetable shipment in two days, and all they had was this already um, shredded zucchini. So I went ahead and got this, and hopefully it'll work out okay. I'm going to be using my mise, is it misen or mycin? I don't know. I almost want to say it's probably misen, M-I-S-E-N, knife when I cut up the vegetables. I just love this knife now. Add two tablespoons of olive oil. And cook on medium heat until warm. So then you add the onions, the bell pepper, zucchini, should be plenty of zucchini, half a teaspoon of salt, and three cloves of garlic. And I never put the amount of garlic it says to. I usually do more. 
I figure about half a teaspoon is equal to a clove. I've got this Dollar Tree diced garlic that I really like, actually. And this will cook for six minutes. While that's cooking, I'll talk to you about uh, the week that I had. Um, it was just a really kind of a low key week, but with, um, it felt like a lot of errands. Uh, I, I went and got a massage and then I went and got um, acupuncture. <clears throat> the acupuncturist wants me to start taking wheatgrass for my stomach. Um, so this is what I ended up getting. And so far, um, it's very gentle. It's supposed to help with um, detox and digestion. It says it helps alkalize and supports immunity and also help with energy. But she did say that I'm not really getting enough sleep. So I have been taking naps, um, but when I'm awake, I feel a lot more mentally alert. I don't know if I'm gonna feel physically um, energetic until after I have my hysterectomy probably, but that's what people who, who needed to have them that have had them have told me is that, you know, energy-wise you feel a lot better after you have the um, hysterectomy, but, um, as far as the digestion and stuff, it's just very gentle. It's not like a explosion kind of situation, <laughs> which is great. So it's not one of those things if you want to use wheatgrass, you don't have to wait until you're going to be home for a week without leaving to take it or anything. And then um, on Thursday night, we watched the original Nightmare on Elm Street, which it was really fun to watch that again. And we had popcorn and we had some candy and it was just a nice relaxing night. On Friday night, which was last night, today is Saturday, uh, we went over to my brother's house. My um, dad and stepmom are in town uh, because the baby was just born. And so we got to meet the baby and I will throw some pictures up here to, to show you uh, while I keep talking. But it was, so it was really nice to meet him. He's absolutely wonderful. He's a very sweet, good baby, which um, that's really wonderful. So it was really fun to be able to hold him and snuggle with him and get to know him a little bit. And we also got some Thai food uh, that we ordered and had delivered. That was really good. I got like a, it's like a vegetable delight that was Thai, but mine ended up being way hotter than I thought it was gonna be. So I was kinda um, teary-eyed and sweaty the rest of the night, but maybe that was a good thing though. I think that really helps with uh, blood flow and digestion and everything. So that was probably a good thing. So we had a really good time there. And then today uh, we slept in, Brad made some coffee and he brought it in to me. It's such a nice way to wake up with somebody setting coffee on the nightstand. You wake up to the smell of coffee. And so I did a little bit of reading and um, I made eggs and some sourdough toast for breakfast. And we had some orange juice um, and then I started, let's see, I took a nap <laughs> and then I started watching the UFC, which I'll actually be watching again after I make dinner. But so, yeah, that's been our weekend so far. It's just been a nice weekend. And then 
Uh, next week, I should be filming some more vlogs and everything. I just thought it'd be nice to do a cooking video. I know you guys really like those, and I really like doing them, too. Let's see. Oh, it's been six minutes. Okay, stir in tomatoes. Now, I was supposed to use crushed tomatoes and I thought I had some and I don't. I usually always have them on hand in case I want to make my own um, spaghetti sauce <laughs> and I don't have any but I have this. Um, I actually got this at the Dollar Tree. It's the San Marzano style garlic olive oil and basil whole peeled tomatoes. So I'm going to use this. I'm just going to kind of smash them a little bit with a fork and uh, throw a little bit of tomato paste in there to thicken it up and hopefully it works. Next, what you do is you put the noodles in the sauce, and it's uh, six ounces of no-boil lasagna noodles. I use these ones, and these come in nine ounces, so you just leave five of these in here and then take ten out, so that is six ounces. Let me reduce the heat here, so you just break them up. You want these to at least be partially submerged in sauce. Cover and cook on low for 15 minutes. While that's cooking, I've got this recipe that I found for Greek yogurt ranch dressing. And I wanted to make it because I'm going to be uh, having like celery and carrots and radishes cut up and using that as a snack, but I wanted something to dip them in. Um, and so I thought that would be kind of cool. Now I don't have, after I got home, I realized I don't have all of the um, spices that are needed for this recipe, but I think that's okay because it's really more of a vegetable dip anyway. It's not really ranch dressing to go on a salad. So I think it should be okay if it doesn't taste exactly like um, it should. <laughs> we'll find out, right? So I'm going to head, go ahead and get started on that um, while we wait for the noodles to cook. So I've got this huge jug of Mountain High Original Whole Plain Yogurt. And I've been using this for a bunch of recipes and it's just great to have it on hand like this and be able to make a bunch of things with it. I've been making, um, there's a pizza dough that you can make with Greek yogurt. Now, I, I don't even think this is Greek yogurt though. Now that I really look closely, <laughs> I think it's just regular plain yogurt, but 
still works fine. Okay, so I need a cup of this for my recipe. And I'm just going to use this little cup with the top that I got at the Dollar Tree. what it is but I love I don't always have the energy but when I do and I get in the kitchen to cook things from scratch I just love the feeling of it It makes sense that this is regular yogurt though. It's got that nice creamy <laughs> flavor to it that I really like, to be honest. Okay, we're looking at half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. It's one thing I've learned with cooking, things don't always have to be exact. You can mix and match things sometimes, and sometimes you'll end up finding that something tastes better than it would have been if you stuck with the original recipe. Maybe you really like it. Maybe I'll really like the basil. Maybe I won't, we'll find out, but the worst that could happen is I don't like it and I have to end up getting um, parsley, which I'll probably get anyway, but. And then it says half of it um, teaspoon of dried dill, except I don't have dill either. <laughs> but I've decided I want this to be kind of Italian tasting, so I'm just going to throw some diced garlic in there. So have you ever made your own ranch dressing or veggie dip at home just from scratch. I just think it seems so much healthier that way. I look at the ingredients on some of these dressings, especially if you look at the packets, and it just seems kind of gross. same as it would be with a vegetable, but you know what? I really like it. I'm going to stick with it just the way it is, actually. I really like it. So, all right. Well, that was easy. So here it is. I'm just going to put it in my fridge. I'll probably remix it every time I go to eat it with my vegetables, but so far so good. I'm thinking it'll be even better later though, after the different spices have been able to really have a chance to mix in with the yogurt. And honestly, I think unless you really want Greek yogurt, um, I think this regular yogurt tastes quite good, actually. So I think I'm, I think part of why people do it is it's less fattening, but, um, you know, whatever your preference is, I think either way it would work really good.
think I'm going to make some more of this too. This, <laughs> this cleaner that I use in the kitchen, it is just apple cider vinegar with water. Um, I fill it up to, I do four ounces of apple cider vinegar, and then I go all the way up to here with warm water. Uh, don't use hot water because it'll make the bottle misshaped like this one is. I made the mistake one day of using really hot water, and ever since it's just been a little distorted looking. <laughs> But I like this because it's very safe to use in the kitchen. You don't have to worry about what it's going to do um, if it gets on your food. It's just vinegar and water. And it's a great way to get grease build up to break up. And it's a wonderful way to get your sink and your faucet real nice and shiny too. Your kitchen will smell like a salad <laughs> after you do it or, or you know a sub or something but I don't really mind it. It kind of reminds me of when, when I was a little girl. I think it was my grandma that did this to clean her kitchen and so it just kind of reminds me of my grandma's house. So that's it. Just put some water in there, mix it up, and you're good to spray. And it's just a nice, safe way of cleaning your house. You can also clean windows and mirrors with this. And if you're like me and you have asthma, you don't have to worry about any of the chemicals in here upsetting your lungs. The other cleaner that I really like that doesn't upset my asthma is um, the Mrs. Myers Clean Day. I like to use that. I don't like to use this though if I'm cooking because I don't want, you know, whatever's in here, I don't want it to get in the food or on the food or whatever. So I just saved the extra lasagna. I just tape it closed. And after two times of making this, I have two boxes with five of them in there. 10 is what is for the recipe, so just two boxes of what's left to, to make a whole other um, meal. It's now been 15 minutes and I'm going to dollop half of it, or I'm sorry, I'm going to dollop a cup of ricotta cheese on here. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. Let's try this another way then. Then you cover with eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. You cover it and cook it for 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted. And dinner is ready.
Okay, Zelda, thank you. If you hear someone whining in the background, that's Zelda Sally. That is it for my lasagna, or no, that is it for my veggie skillet lasagna cooking extravaganza. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And I hope that you have some good homemade food for dinner. If you end up making this, let me know and let me know what you thought of it. All right. I love you. Bye.